buddy. This is Max. He was recently found in a Toronto park with nothing but this note. It said his owner had recently lost his job and his home and was unable to continue caring for the animal. He is one dog of a lot of families in our community that are having these very similar struggles. Pretzel. Following a spike in pets adopted during the pandemic, animal rights advocates say many are now abandoning their four-legged friends as they continue to deal with increasing financial pressures. There's a lot of stories out there about animals being abandoned in parks. We know that Rouge River Park is seeing quite a lot more pet abandonments, and including of animals who simply cannot survive long outside, like rabbits. Camille Labchuk says while bunnies are a popular Easter gift, they often end up on the streets. She adds pet owners should turn to their local humane society in times of need as opposed to resorting to abandonment. They will in most cases accept that animal, care for them and waive the surrender fee. But this expert stresses the need for families to better budget their income so that it never gets to that point. The animal has to come first. And that's a terrible thing to say that you miss a lunch, you skip a dinner, your dog doesn't get to skip a meal, your dog doesn't understand what inflation is. While pet owners continue to feel the pinch of inflation, the Bank of Canada is expected to hold its key interest rate steady this week. So if you can continue to make ends meet for a little bit longer, things are expected to improve, according to economists, for every member of the family, including your furry companion. 2023 might just be slow, but I don't think it's going to be bad. And I think things will bounce back in 2024. As for pets like Max, staff at the Humane Society are working hard to find him a forever home. Brittany Rosen, Global News, Toronto.